the fat controller stood on the platform. On the horizon, a colossal engine emerged from the setting sun. Its black paint was shabby, and its puffs were deep and coarse. It groaned to a halt, a line of trucks trailing behind. Good evening, greeted the fat controller. You're the replacement goods engine, I presume? That is correct, sir, replied the engine. The regular diesel derailed in the yard. Wasn't keeping a proper lookout, but you know how self-importance gets in the way of some engines, he finished with a wink. Indeed I do, chuckled the fat controller knowingly. What is your name? Dudley. Sir, a pleasure to traverse your rails. Very good, Dudley. Please proceed to the shed. You will be in good company with my engines. Thank you for your hospitality, sir. I wish you a pleasant evening, Dudley finished, puffing slowly away. The engines welcomed the newcomer warmly. Soon, they were laughing and chatting like schoolchildren. A pity my stay is but a temporary one, Dudley sighed. You're blessed to have a controller who realizes your value. My days are numbered on the other railway. A grim inevitability, shuddered Gordon. Inevitable, my tender. We could change that, replied James. Oh, I could never impose such a thing, insisted Dudley. Besides, sighed Henry, the fat controllers just purchased Oliver and... Ah, here's our other new acquisition now. Bear back down next to Dudley. Hello, he smiled. I'm Bear. Lovely to meet you. Mutual, I'm sure, Dudley responded unenthusiastically. Will you be staying long, or... I say, Dudley interrupted, ignoring Bear. Rumor has it one of you recently rescued two failed diesels. That was me, Henry beamed with pride, and began telling the story. Bear was stunned. He gave me the cold buffer too, sighed Boko. Living on the other railway likely hasn't painted us diesels in the best light. Aye, agreed Donald. Didn't take it to heart, Bear. Dougie and I needed time to come round. He'll find you're a good sort. Hmm, I hope, Bear conceded, though he couldn't help feeling hurt. It was a pleasure to make your acquaintances, Dudley announced the next morning. If our paths never cross again, I wish you nothing but smooth runnings. With a blast of his whistle, he went to fetch his return train. What a shame, said Henry. I wish there were something we could do. Despite his hurt feelings, Bear tried to be optimistic. He seems a good sort, he smiled. Things always work out in the end for honest, hard-working engines. The others said nothing. They only hoped Bear was right. With Duck running his branch line, Donald volunteered to shut the yard. He did it well, easily keeping the trucks and coaches in line. The others were grateful for his help. That morning, Donald brought the coaches for the first train to the platform. He shunted them into place, then hurried off to prepare a goods train. Before long, Henry came backing down into the station. He was looking forward to a run in the morning sunlight when... Glory! 
tried his driver. Instead of waiting at the platform, the coaches were fouling the points. Stop! Stop! groaned Henry. His brakes screeched, but it was too late. Henry's tender was derailed, resting crooked against the battered coaches. Their paint was scratched and their windows shattered. Both Henry and the coaches whimpered meekly. Soon, the fat controller arrived. Donald cleared away the uncut coaches while Dudley brought the cranes. How on earth did this happen? demanded the fat controller. Can he say, sir? replied Donald. Young coaches were at the platform when I left them. I see. Some defect in the brakes, no doubt. I'm afraid it means a trip to the works for you, Henry. This puts us in an awkward position. I'm sorry, sir, frowned Henry. Excuse me, sir, smiled Dudley. May I offer my assistance? I won't exactly be busy if I return to the other railway. Surely my controller could spare me to make up for Henry's absence. The fat controller smiled. A splendid idea, Dudley. I'll make the arrangements right away. In the meantime, please take Henry to the works. Henry's tender was soon back on the rails. There, there, old boy, comforted Dudley. You'll soon be right as rain, and I'll handle your trains with the utmost care. Henry smiled, but Donald watched Dudley with suspicion. What was he still doing here? He should have left ages ago. Strange, very strange. <laughs>